In this video, the Bitcoin halving is coming up in only 15 days and the Google searches for Bitcoin halving are going completely parabolic. And also I'm going to show you this very interesting article showing us evidence that the Bitcoin price could be in for a big dump in the next few days. And look at this breaking news. The Bank of Japan is launching unlimited quantitative easing. And guys, thank you very much for liking my video yesterday. And also look at this. I am very, very close to 100,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can push my channel to 100K before tomorrow's video. So feel free to click the subscribe button right here. Thank you so much. And in the Bitcoin price, I am going to show you this rising wedge that is potentially forming here. And I want to show you exactly what is going to happen as soon as this pattern breaks out. And if you think that that sounds interesting, then I think that you should definitely watch this video. Hello guys and welcome to the moon. My name is Carlin. I'm going to bring you this cryptocurrency video. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin price and the fact that Bitcoin did indeed break above that $7,600 level that I have been talking about. And I just want to show you once again in the VPVR why this level is important. You can see that the cluster of resistance ends right up here at 7.6 approximately. And there is a big hole of... Um, uh, a lack of uh, volume traded up until 7.9 approximately and this is why I've been keeping an eye on the VPVR. So far we haven't really seen any bigger movements um, from breaking this level and Bitcoin is still hovering around 7.7 thousand and let's see if we can find a reason for this and one pattern that seems to be possibly emerging in the Bitcoin price right now is this potential rising wedge where we have uh, Bitcoin bouncing between support and resistance and eventually as you may know if this is a rising wedge Bitcoin is going to have to choose either to break the resistance or break the support. We can take a look at the volume and the volume is currently uh, declining which is exactly what we want to see in such a pattern and if Bitcoin were to break this rising wedge to the upside um, I would look for a Bitcoin price to break at least above this $7,700 $80 level approximately. It seems like Bitcoin has been caught uh, by this previous um, little bit smaller resistance uh, level. I think 7.6 uh, should be a more significant level based on the VPVR but we can still see that this level has also been significant and it seems like Bitcoin is struggling to break through this right now but if Bitcoin breaks through this area that Bitcoin is in right now which is approximately 7.7 uh, 80 then we should be looking for a uh, bullish move to the upside and uh, I think that in that case I would be targeting at the very least this 8.5k level but as you may remember from this um, this triangle that broke out just a few days ago and uh, the targeted move as I've shown you before out of this symmetrical triangle is actually all the way up at approximately 8.7-8.8 thousand dollars. All right, so that's the bullish scenario. What happens if Bitcoin breaks the support? Well, if Bitcoin breaks this upward trending support, then the uh, technical target in a rising wedge should be the bottom of the wedge, which is all the way down here. And we would be looking for a move down to approximately $5,600. thousand So we should be looking closely at the support and resistance. And of course, some of you might remember also how I previously uh, treated this as a potential bear flag. And while this still could be uh, a possible scenario, I am starting to lean towards the fact that this is probably not a bear flag. But um, I think we can still see that these lines are valid. I mean, this upward trending support is still obviously valid. This resistance um, could still be valid. I mean, we do see how Bitcoin has connected a few uh, points of contact here. And in this case, uh, we might see another pop up before Bitcoin might reverse off of this resistance. But personally, I uh, am currently giving the rising wedge more credibility than the bear flag. And that's just my uh, personal opinion. And if Bitcoin were to break uh, through this rising wedge to the upside, then this means that Bitcoin has to break this major moving average that I've been pointing out so many times before. The 20 weekly moving average. It is such an important um, structural macro uh, resistance and support that um, I really think that if we do break above this level then uh, we should be looking for a, a much much bigger bullish move in the uh, in the coming weeks and months here because 
uh, yeah, you can you can back test this yourself. I'm not gonna go through this. I've I've shown you this so many times, but but you can see here how, how it was perfect support. This purple line was perfect support during the bull market, and then we've seen resistance, and when we broke above it here, we saw a big bull run. And uh, yeah, just go into this chart, pull out the 20 weekly, and you will see for yourself why this is a very very key uh, point in the chart right now. Next up, the Bitcoin having is coming up in 15 days. It is getting closer and closer closer and look at this the google searches for bitcoin having are going completely parabolic and they are current uh, the google searches are already 30 percent higher than the peak of the previous having uh, back in 2016 so you can see that the amount of searches are way above the peak uh, back there indicating that much much more people are currently in bitcoin and are currently keeping an eye on this event and also we can see how uh, I think that this uh, having hype started way before the having, and uh, in my opinion, this is a great sign showing us that people are researching the having, people are keeping an eye on Bitcoin, people are researching Bitcoin, and I think that um, especially now in this financial crisis, when we see so much uh, money getting printed, this is very very interesting. And I'm going to talk more about money printing in just a few minutes, but first I want to show you this article talking about how a potential Bitcoin dump might be coming in the not so distant future. Historical CME patterns suggest Bitcoin rally to 7.7k is likely to brutally reverse. Why is that? Well, as you may know, we have the CME futures, the CME Bitcoin futures. This article is talking about how Bitcoin price historically sees large movement on the 24th of every month. The CME Bitcoin futures contracts expires every fourth Friday in a given month. In most months, the BTC futures contract on the exchange expires on the 24th or 25th. Prior to the expiration, the Bitcoin price tends to see a large price movement as traders make one last push towards either directions to benefit their contracts. You can see here that on the four hourly time frame, how Bitcoin on the 23rd had a significant uh, price rally to the upside where Bitcoin actually went up approximately 8% uh, in just a matter of a few minutes and just like this article says here that Bitcoin tends to do these la large price movements before the 24th or the 25th in this last push in either direction and the article continues to say here that after the expiration occurs the Bitcoin price typically sees a price movement to the opposite direction from the run-up to the expiration if BTC surges ahead of it the cryptocurrency is more likely to drop so according to this article there is a case to be made that this uh, pre-expiration pump is going to lead to an after expiration dump let me know down below what you guys think do you think that this is significant uh, we have been talking a lot about the CME futures gaps uh, them being very significant so maybe this is something we should also take into consideration especially now that the Bitcoin price is currently in this rising wedge but please leave your comments down below do you think Bitcoin is going to do a big dump or do you think that we are going to see a breakout out of this rising wedge to the upside next up breaking news the Japan BOG Bank of Japan launches unlimited quantitative easing following the Fed and just like I said in this tweet here this is a historical moment because we are witnessing historic uh, printing of currency globally this has never happened before this is a global economic experiment unfolding in front of our eyes it is very very interesting to see how this is unfolding while Bitcoin is currently going to have a halving in just 15 days I think this is extremely bullish for Bitcoin as more and more people will realize the fundamentals of Bitcoin and research Bitcoin and realize how important Bitcoin is for uh, financial freedom for people uh, because remember gold can be confiscated stocks and uh, fiat can be devalued but bitcoin can never be confiscated it can never be devalued it is completely unique in in, uh, in a sea of assets out there and here's the article from uh, zero hedge and I'm not going to go through the, this whole article, but this small little conclusion says here that in short, the Bank of Japan isn't even pretending anymore that it is pursuing a, quote, stable 2% inflation, a goal which is now for all intents and purposes until the arrival of currency collapse and hyperinflation impossible to achieve. Instead, the only goal now is spraying helicopter money uh, on as much of the population as possible and the Bank of Japan is not the only one as you may already know the Fed is already conducting the biggest QE in history and uh, this is literally uh, unheard of before it is unprecedented uh, I think that everyone who didn't buy Bitcoin yet definitely should consider 
uh, Bitcoin as a safe haven against the coming financial crisis. I mean, we're already in a deep financial crisis, but uh, let's call it a monetary crisis where fiat currencies devalue to the point where uh, basically the, the inflation will lead into a hyperinflation. This is something that is a real threat in the not so distant future and Bitcoin is basically the antidote to uh, inflation and the antidote to quantitative easing as Bitcoin uh, will be a, um, a deflationary asset eventually and it will be uh, undergoing this quantitative hardening. And guys, feel free to go down and click the subscribe button. Let's see if we can push it, this uh, channel to 100,000 subscribers before tomorrow's video. That would be insane. And also, please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't seen this video, then click right there right now. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Next up, breaking news. Japan printer go brr. No, that's weird. <laughs> I can't do that.